I know for one thing for sure, if I see her on my schedule again, I'm swapping up out of it. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is a five day trip. I'm fresh on vacation. Uh, feeling a little under the weather because on my flight from Barcelona back to the States, it was super cold on the airplane and the AC was just blowing on me consistently. And it made my throat start to scratch and hurt a little bit. And that's the first sign of me, you know, getting sick. Like I cannot have consistent AC blowing on me consistently. It has to turn off and turn on at some point in time. And last night I took a NyQuil and woke up feeling a little bit better. So I'm about 75% right now. I was supposed to finish my Barcelona vlog last night, but I didn't feel up to it because I just didn't, you know, the wet, you know, felt under the weather a little bit. Um, it, the, the day NyQuil finally has worn off on me. And when I woke up this morning, it, it felt like I was still groggy or whatever. So I brought some just in case uh, for this trip, but I'm just only gonna take one instead of two and just see how I feel and try to finish this uh, Barcelona vlog for you. And, um, but other than that, I have three legs today. I do a Knoxville turn and then I end in Treeport tonight about six o'clock Central Standard Time. So we're gonna see how it goes today. Um, Hurricane Helen has messed up a lot of the South Georgia area. So there's certain places that we fly to like Valdosta. I know that they had canceled all flights going through there for a while, but now they have um, a few flights going in, but the city is under a curfew. So everything closes at six o'clock. There's only certain places that have power. I think our hotel that we stay at is the only street that has power on it. And there's a six o'clock curfew. So. I'm glad I don't go to Valdosta none this trip, so I don't have to try to maneuver and do some things around like that. But other than that, I'll see you guys once I get to Shreveport tonight. Everybody, we have a maintenance delay. Uh, something happened with the wheel when the pilots brought the plane in. We were sitting for about an hour and 45 minutes, but the plane was already late and they're trying to do quick turns. So people were boarding and then maintenance said we got to deplane so they can change the tire because he said the tire was pulling to the left when they were coming in. So. It is what it is, but I, I have something to tell you all once I get to Shreveport, if I make it there. Everybody made it here to Shreveport. Uh, delay almost, we were supposed to be here, what is it? Eight something now? We were supposed to be here about six, about two hours ago. And so they extended our rest. So my all tomorrow is going to be mixed up because we're going to misconnect because they had to extend our rest. Then crew scheduling calls me exactly as soon as I opened the, the boarding door. I mean, yeah, the main cabin door and we were deplaning. They called me. I saw it because, you know, my phone was sitting on the, uh, the galley counter. Now, it usually takes about 15 minutes to deplane, but we have four wheelchairs, so it's going to take a little bit longer. Next thing I know. I get a not available to fly on my schedule. And I'm thinking like, I just worked this flight. So how did I get a not available fly? So I called crew schedule and they said, well, you didn't call us back in the amount of time allowed, which is 15 minutes. I said, you all called me while we were deplaning. So am I supposed to pick up my phone in front of passengers, which is an automatic termination to answer you. And we were deplaning. All you did was notify me that my rest changed that's not available to fly. It'd be different if they were notifying me to work the flight back from Shreveport to Atlanta and I did not respond back in enough time. That's a different story. So now my manager's probably gonna call me. Hopefully my manager, she's really cool. She'll look at him like, wait a minute, why does he not have a not available flyer and he worked the flight? I'm not understanding this. So she'll probably call me to get a story, whatever happened on that. But um, also I have a public service announcement to make. Cats do not go on the tray table. Cats do not go on the tray table. Animals do not go on the tray table. Today we had a cat on board. And as I'm walking through doing trash, this lady has her cat out of the bag and she has it sitting on the tray table. And when I addressed her about it, she made it seem like it was just a normal thing. I said, ma'am, this is a public space. You're not supposed to have your cat, one, out of the bag, and two, on the tray table. That's nasty. 
some people i don't know why you would do this they take their snacks and put it on the tray table i don't know why you would do that now i have an animal my dog georgia when she when i'm cooking she knows not to come into the kitchen unless i asked her to she'll lay right at the edge of the kitchen and sometimes if i'm feeling nice i'll let her come lay in the kitchen on the side in the little vacant space that i have and i throw her some treats you know like some fruit or apples and stuff like that she doesn't even bother me when i'm eating she'll sit if sometimes i eat in my room so i can watch tv instead of at the table which that's a habit i need to break but she'll sit lay down right at the edge of my door and when as soon as i'm done as soon as she sees me finish eating she comes and lay right next to me i <sighs> Animals do not go in public spaces. What you do in your personal space, that's what you do in your personal space. I'm not working out today um, because again, uh, I don't have that much rest and I don't think my lungs are filling up to it right now. So I'm gonna take some medicine, wind down. I'm gonna try to try to work on this video, but the delay just, it drained me a little bit because of you know this head cold that I have. So um, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I have a 6.17 report time, which was delayed. The flight was supposed to leave at six. So again, tomorrow's gonna be messed up. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today is day two of five. I'm at about 85% today. Slept really well last night, got enough sleep. Flight obviously is delayed, like I told you all for our rest. And they took away my Lafayette turn as soon as I um, got off with you all. They took off the Lafayette turn, so I have a sit in between once I get to Atlanta. Uh, we'll see if they add anything or not or take, you know, whatever like that. But as of now, I just have two flights. Shreveport to Atlanta, sit for two, three hours, and then work to Moline, Illinois. So I'll see you guys once I get to Moline tonight. Everybody made it here to Moline. Uh, today's two flights are very uneventful. Uh, we were delayed coming out of Atlanta because our inbound flight was delayed in Augusta because the vice president was going through Augusta and they shut down the airport, which is always happens during the safety protocol type thing. But other than that, uh, that's it. When talked to my man, well, my manager wasn't in, which I haven't. That's another story. So I talked to the whatever manager was on duty and about the not available to fly and she said it doesn't make any sense so she just basically told them to remove it or whatever like that and tag my you know cc my manager on it or whatever so that way she won't call me about a meeting that i've already handled it but again it doesn't make any sense of you're extending my rest i can self-notify for that there's no need to for me to call back but it is what it is it's just you know it's just one of those things you got to deal with i am going to, to go workout this hotel here we have access to an actual gym and i actually like it and uh, i'm gonna try my best to see if i can do some jogging but i don't think my lungs gonna hold up i'm gonna have to keep stopping and going stopping and going but i see you guys tomorrow it's a 4 50 van time tomorrow to Monroe, Louisiana. Today's two flights were very uneventful. Had a two hour sit this morning and a uh, early, 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 early flight. The one thing I do dislike about going to cold areas, especially when it's in that in between, you know, most people in that from the cold air, let's just say Minnesota, for example. When I was in training, it was uh, like three degrees. People were wearing shorts <laughs> in Minnesota and act like it was nothing so they're used to it so today this morning it was 49 degrees 
why our van driver had the AC blasting as if it's not cold outside already. Uh, we had to tell him to turn it off because it was cold. It was super, super, super cold. It was 49 degrees. There's no reason for the AC to be on whatsoever. Um, and every, just right now, everywhere, everybody has just super cold. It's not even been that hot. Now in Louisiana, yes, it's like 85 degrees. So it's different here. So I'm a little warm right now because my air is not even on, but I'm a little warm. But this morning I didn't get to y'all because I just, I wasn't feeling it. I basically kept pressing snooze, 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 and woke up at the very, very last second possible to get ready and everything that I need to do. So that's why I didn't get to y'all this morning. But uh, it's 11 o'clock. I'm gonna to attempt to work on my Barcelona vlog. I have a lot of elements to do for the last quarter and start editing the other vlogs before I start going um, go on another vacation. So that's what I'm gonna try to do today since it's an early uh, finish. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, bright and early. Good morning, everybody. Today is day four. I have a four leg day, hopefully. My flight, last yesterday, they delayed my flight by an hour. My guess, it has something to do with my flying partner because when I check my schedule, I have another flight attendant on my flight. So I think something might have happened with my um, original flying partner. Wouldn't be surprised, um, but that's another story. And um, so we were delayed an hour. Hopefully my connection for my next flight is only like 23 minutes. So we don't know if we'll make that in time or they're gonna delay it or swap it or whatever. But I am supposed to go from Monroe to Atlanta, Atlanta to Columbus, oh, not Ohio, Columbus, Georgia, then to back to Atlanta, then to Tri-Cities, uh, Tennessee. So we're gonna see. Uh, I'll find out in a few minutes what happened. Most likely it's, I have a new flying partner, but I'll see you guys once I get to Tri-Cities today. So here's the view of the hotel since I am here a little bit early and it is a view to show you all. Made it here to Tri-Cities. Today has been a eventful day. We've been delayed all day um, because my flying partner, original flying partner, I should say. Um, so of course we got the scoop with the new flying flight attendant that actually had worked with me this morning because she just wanted to talk so pretty much my flying partner supposedly had fleas in her room or something to that effect and she went to the hospital and then left the same day to go back home and so which caused the flight in the morning to be delayed because the new flight attendant had to have proper minimum reps now like i said before i've never worked with her before this is my original flight attendant um every pilot that we've had said that she's very difficult to work with or is always something with her even had a gate agent tell me it's always something with her and ever since tuesday when we started this almost after every leg it's always something so i i mean again it is what it is you can't control people and their whatever there is that they're particular about but i know for one thing for sure if i see her on my schedule again i'm swapping up out of it not again just not again and we've been just delayed all day um today yeah it was just it was easy it was like it was saying it's easy this job is not hard i promise y'all this job is not hard to do it's not hard to handle or anything like that nothing is actually hard about the job itself but some people choose to make it harder than what it really needs to be but you know, it's just, it is what it is. But here today in Tri-Cities, uh, I like this hotel. I haven't laid over here in a long time. One thing I do remember, this bed right here is really, really comfortable. And there's a dog show here today, is Doberman Pinchers. I've had miniature Dobermans, but never had Doberman Pinchers. My great-grandfather did 
Um, I think the show is free, so I might check that out a little bit later on. But other than that, I need to do LMS. I feel a little bit better. I think I'm at 90% right now, 90, 90%. And I think by tomorrow, I'll be close to like 95, 98%. So that's good. I'm getting better. But I'll see you guys tomorrow for Go Home Day. The video, I didn't close it out once I got home, but um, it's later on. So we took a delay today this morning because my flying partner who left in the middle of the trip was supposed to work the turn to Mobile. Now we're waiting on her um, to see what happened and she never showed up. And of course the FO is getting kind of frustrated because he's trying to make a, a commute home to Tampa and um, you know, it's kind of tight or he had to wait like four hours for the next flight to Tampa. And most people who commute, they don't, if they can catch that very next flight instead of having to wait, then they'd rather do that. So he's getting frustrated. We finally ended up getting a ready reserve to come to the airplane and just work the turn. And it was a very uneventful flight. Now, again, we were late coming back just a little bit, just a tad bit. And some people might not have made their connections just because they've already had tight connections if we were on time and since we were a little late it made it even tighter um that's why the importance of being on time especially in this industry it doesn't just affect the flight that you're working it can it's like a domino effect so if that flight is late guess what the late flight is late is coming back then late going in then late coming back and it's just a domino effect of people and it affects business and it looks bad uh, as far as customer service wise go but Again, that's the importance of being on time, especially in this job. But it's important to be on time for any job or anything that you have planned just because you don't the domino effect of everything that could happen. But never again. If I see her name on my schedule, I'm swapping out of it. I don't care if I lose hours. I am not doing that just for the, some. It just I just can't. That's just I can't. I can't. I'm very easygoing, very laid back. I don't care what it is that you do. As long as it doesn't affect safety and security, do whatever you want to do. You can start singing while you're serving customers. Does not matter, matter to me. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. It's not interfering with security or safety. By all means, do what you want to do. And that's how I am. But again, I will not, I will not work with this person again um, if I see her on my schedule. But other than that, I'm going to enjoy this vacation. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. As always, hug on the ones that you love. Tell the ones that you love that you love them.